Yo, what up, Selfie Blue? Just getting ready to take off to uh, the bike store. Gonna take a look at some bikes, see what's uh, happening out there. And then I'm gonna run on over to the bookstore. And uh, got a bike ride tonight as well. So, let's go and do this. Agreed. Dude, it was 1999 on sale from 2500. I think it was well worth it, don't you? No, I just said I didn't. The camera didn't hear you say it. Silent scan. So speaking of cycling, today's uh, no car in downtown day, which is something they should do more regularly. Like a lot of cities in Europe, they have uh, like no drive zones in the city centers. This is something that they should think about here. Look at all the people down here. This could be pretty cool. Right here, and I'm reading two books, one on audio and one actually paper book. This one's a book called the Racer by David Millar, and it's a really cool book about his cycling life, and in particular, it's uh, really, really short chapters. So what I like about it is, if you take a look here, it's like super short. It's great to come in, and you can just look over a couple chapters, and it's like sitting down and having a quick little, you know, in the cafe with them, and talking to them about what it was like to travel and through Europe and race, and some of the people that he ran across and the training that they would do and psychologically how he thinks. Great book, easy to read, a lot of fun. I recommend it. The other one is on audio and a lot of you probably know it, Finding Ultra by Rich Roll. Book, I listen to it on audio for long rides and uh, long walks and tours. It's a good book to, uh, to read and I highly recommend listening to it in Audible or however you want to do it and uh, his voice takes a little bit of getting used to because he speaks a bit slower than uh, he regularly does but it's a cool book. It's rolled. It's a cool book so far I just started it. It's nice for long bike rides or long 